Okay, so um, I'm Jason Sauber Black. I work for Swift Financial, um, which recently became part of PayPal. Uh, and today I'll be talking about infrastructure as code, uh, specifically the provisioning of virtual networking at Amazon using a tool called Sparkle Formation. Uh, so since we just came back from lunch, uh, let's do a little audience participation. Uh, could I see a show of hands? Who here is using some sort of infrastructure as code tool right now? Okay, that is a lot, that's great. Um, <clears throat> okay, so who is also using an infrastructure as code tool, but is using it for multiple logical environments, right? So development, staging, production, and then how many of you are using that off of the same definition, like the same base template? Okay, great. Um, and then my last question is, who is doing all of that, but you have completely separate environments, a completely separate space for all of your change testing? to that code without affecting any of those environments. Okay, that's almost no one, a handful of people. Okay, great. Um, so why am I asking about this? Uh, so when we talk about infrastructure as code, um, we often focus on like virtual machines, databases, load balancers, um, you know, the resources that are really associated with the application. Um, but the networking is just an important part of that. Um, and this is really important because environment equality is key. Um, even the networking part should be the same between development and production. Um, you just, just like uh, in the application, you also don't want those differences in networking to break things um, in just one environment. Uh, so stability is also really important um, in that if you were testing all of your infrastructure's code changes in development, you're still ruining someone's day because the developers rely on that environment to make all their changes, so this is why you want another space. Um, so we're familiar with a lot of infrastructure's code tools. Um, for example, the native uh, templating stuff at Amazon is AWS CloudFormation. Um, also, many of us are familiar with Terraform for like a full managed solution. Um, but there's this uh, set of tools in the middle. Uh, one example here uh, that I'm talking about today is Sparkle Formation. And so this works with the native APIs and the native formats of something like Amazon. Uh, so Sparkle Formation specifically uh, allows you to generate CloudFormation templates um, and call the native Amazon API for CloudFormation. Uh, and do everything that you would do with, say, with something like Terraform, but use all the native calls. Um, so Sparkle Formation is a tool written in Ruby by Chris Roberts of HashiCorp. Um, and it consists of a Ruby library, which allows you to uh, assist you in writing the uh, template generation code, and then a command line tool, which actually calls all those orchestration APIs. So in this diagram, we can see that we have some sort of Ruby template. Uh, it is running through the command line tool, and we're generating some set of CloudFormation templates. And now we can generate multiple templates from our single Ruby definition by injecting configuration into the command line tool. And then each of these is provisioning a totally different, say, VPC with all of its subnets, security groups, et cetera, up at Amazon. So that all of our environments are coming from the same definition. Um, so now we can take this up to yet another level and say that all of those environments that we've provisioned are our live environments, right? So this is where developers work on their applications and develop, uh, and the customers are using production. Um, but we would have a completely separate set of this infrastructure in a test set of environments, which allows us to run all of our uh, changes through that with whatever testing we've implemented. Um, so an example of what we could take advantage there is, say, like some native compliance tooling. Um, at Amazon, Amazon has a service called AWS Config. Uh, this allows you to monitor, say, security groups to make sure they're not um, allowing too much traffic through, uh, you know, other aspects of the virtual network environment. Or we could have, like, network uh, integration tests written in something like Chef Inspect. Uh, so these can all be run against the infrastructure provision in our test environments to make sure that those changes are not going to disrupt the live environments, including, say, like, development. Uh, so, so, right, so a workflow for this is that we would make changes to our Sparkle Formation template. That would go through the CLI tool. It would generate our new Cloud Formation templates. Those would get pushed up to Amazon into the test space. We would run our integration tests, check whatever else we want to, and this whole process could be automated and even pushed through some of the live environments, just like with application code. Um, so this integrates very nicely with, say, like a CI CD solution. Uh, it can integrate with some sort of configuration store, so using something like Console or Vault. Um, and this is, again, separate from all sorts of other dynamic infrastructure for which we have other tools to kind of like deploy into those networking spaces. So that's my talk, and thank you for listening. <laughs>